To get the best gains, you've got to stick to chicken, broccoli and rice, right? I'm Elle Kelly, a sports dietitian, and in this video, we're going to look at why a balanced diet is better for your muscle growth than just chicken, broccoli and rice. There's absolutely nothing wrong with just chicken, broccoli and rice, or any singular food or meal for that matter. However, if there is a heavy reliance on any one particular food or meal within a diet, micronutrient deficiencies are a little bit more likely to occur. Carbohydrates, fats and protein are macronutrients, which means we need them in larger amounts. Vitamins and minerals are micronutrients, which we still need, but they are present in smaller amounts. Although we talk a lot about macronutrients and their sources within the health and fitness space, micronutrients are also important for overall health and performance. Vitamins are required for growth, health, and physical well-being, forming essential parts of enzymes which are involved in energy production, immune system, nervous system, and hormone systems. Minerals are elements that have many different functions in the body, from forming the structure of bones and teeth to being involved in muscle contractions, nerve functions, and the formation of red blood cells. There are 20 minerals and trace elements that are essential to health and must be obtained through the diet. Sticking with just one type of meal means that the range of micronutrients is limited. Within different sources of macronutrients tends to lie an entire range of micronutrients. An example of this is comparing potatoes and oats. Both are great sources of carbohydrates and one is not necessarily better than the other. Nutrition always comes down to context. However, they will both provide a range of other nutrients too. Oats are a great source of fiber known as beta-glucagon, which has been shown to help improve cholesterol levels in certain quantities. And potatoes provide vitamin K, essential for wound healing and blood clotting. Another example would be to compare protein sources. Although protein may be the most abundant nutrient in both cod and steak, each of these will provide a completely different range of other nutrients. For example, steak is rich in iron, whereas cod is lower in iron but contains more vitamins A and E. Much of the reason why sticking to the same meal, like chicken, broccoli and rice, is popular is because it's simple and provides a high amount of protein and a balance of carbs and fats. However, you can still obtain the same amount of protein, carbs, fats and energy by changing up the macronutrient sources. And even if you didn't want to deviate too far away from chicken and rice, maybe because you enjoy it or it's easy, you could swap up the cut of chicken or vary the type of rice that you use, like swapping brown rice for basmati or wild rice or even a combination. And that brings me on to the next point about variety. Your gut microbes will thank you if you incorporate a mix of grains and plants. The gut is not just a place that food goes to. It's also home to the gut microbiota, the collection of bacteria that live within the gut. Each different species provides us with different benefits, and the more diverse our gut microbiome is, the more benefits we get. These benefits range from improved immunity, mental health, digestion, and even metabolic health. You may have heard of plant points, which is a build on from the five a day that we're all used to. The purpose of the five a day was to encourage individuals to eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetables to help improve the intake of micronutrients and fiber within their diet. Now, research has highlighted that eating 30 different plant foods a week can play a positive role in leading a healthy lifestyle. For example, the 2018 American Gut Project study demonstrated that participants who ate a broader range of plants had a more diverse microbiome, which is associated with many health benefits. I get it, 30 is a huge number, but this is 30 plants, not 30 fruit and vegetables. So things like pulses, whole grains, herbs and spices, as well as fruit and vegetables, all count. Another reason for variety being a good thing is because you're less likely to get bored and completely lose interest in your nutrition. So swapping out that rice every now and then and aiming to incorporate more grains and plants would be beneficial for both your guts and your taste buds. As a dietitian, I'm very often asked, what is the best diet? And my answer is one, context always matters when it comes to nutrition and everyone is individual. And two, the best diet is the one that you can stick to and incorporates all the nutrients that you need to support optimal health. But your diet should also provide you with flexibility, pleasure, and enjoyment. So let's look at some alternatives to chicken and rice. Firstly, sticking to the chicken and rice theme, you could try swapping chicken breast for chicken thigh. Whilst it does contain more fat, it also provides a better source of iron and zinc in comparison to chicken breast. To get more plants into your diet, you could try a mix of different rices like wild and basmati rather than just one type of rice or change up the types over the week. 
Spices and flavorings are often overlooked when it comes to our diet, but these can be so important for enjoyment. For example, plain chicken and rice might sound pretty boring to some people, but a fajita chicken and rice bowl with beans and spices might sound a little bit more enticing. So don't be afraid to play around with spices and adding pulses to the dish to keep things interesting, but also to increase the fiber and rack up those plant points. When you think about chicken and rice as a meal, it's pretty balanced if we incorporate some veggies with it. We've got protein and a little bit of fat from the chicken, carbs from the rice, and fiber, vitamins, and minerals from the veggies. Varying this up doesn't have to be hard. Simply think of another source of protein, carbs, fats, and fruit or veg that you enjoy. Some alternatives could be a quinoa salad with chicken, or a tabula salad with falafel and hummus. Something like a tuna bake with lentil pasta, spaghetti bolognese with lean mince or corn mince, or even salmon and wild rice all work really well. We've popped some examples to chicken and rice within the caption, so make sure you check that out for some inspiration. I hope that you found this video helpful and you feel inspired to change things up. Be sure to tag us in your creations and hit that subscribe button for more practical nutrition advice.